Yeah, I'm gonna take the production higher to a different quality when I get the grab the lights and shit. That's why I was just trying to uh when you said you were sliding, I was like, let me just see what the quality differences is. Yeah. So we're gonna definitely have to do that. Yeah, this tight. For sure. So what's up with you though, Trev? Uh, I'm great. I'm how feeling you, good, man. How you feeling? I, I like I liked your guys' last episode, man. Huh, visitor? Shit, that, that shit was tight. Yeah. Yeah. Right yeah, here. Yeah, visitor ass. And oh, don't you ever. I wanted to come in person. You should have put up on that. Nah, really, bro. It's really not even any any beef with LaRusso or anything like that. I feel like Let where me I messed out. up is I isolated just him on my story as an example. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, when right. really I was just speaking in broad terms. He's just kind of like the person that is like the poster child for that content rapper stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I, I was just curious. I call Cap. I, I call Cap. I called that. Uh, Why didn't you call Cap when the Russell was here? You know, we live and we learn. I've grown. Oh, okay. I've grown. I've grown. So because I kind of want that Larusa treatment where you guys ain't saying shit about him putting his, his feet, his feet on the. Uh, no, because no, because remember we did the Patreon episode. I was already arguing against you about what you were saying. Exactly, but his argument was, <laughs> I'm not a part of the culture, therefore my opinion isn't valid. No, no, that that was his argument after you said what you said. I was only speaking to what you said. Y'all have y'all own separate thing, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, so that's that's what that you're talking about. I'm talking about what was said. Okay, but what about yesterday when he said, oh, he's a visitor, and y'all just, ah, yeah, yeah, f*** that white boy. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't say f*** that white boy. I mean, I just, okay, I, I, I was just I expecting a little say. pressure, you know what I'm saying? Like, because it's not like just because I'm white, I'm the only one who thinks that. Because I know there are people of the culture that think how I think too, where it's like, in terms of him being a, a rapper, I feel like he just leads a little bit too hard on his content. And that's all I meant to say. I feel like the content is like fluff. And I feel like by me saying, oh, the streets aren't listening to him as much as people think, it came off like no one's listening to him or that he has no motion, which is not true at all. Like, it's clear that he's got motion and genuinely people fuck with him. I just sure. feel like, <clears throat> the level of of following he has doesn't necessarily like it's the gap is getting bigger on the following and like you know just the the music you know or the content too like i just feel like it it needs to like, right, level so up a bit to match that following you know he's he's known by everyone and i feel like too even tiny said that you were rec you knew him but you didn't even listen to his music right. until that tde concert right so that kind of like it's like how, like how important is content when you're trying to be a rapper, and what really brings, like a a new fan to really f with your. Sh I think it's I think it's the music at the end of the day. But the music still did it. The music. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. Got, even to that stage, Tiny seen him. The music him. sold him. You seen him perform his music. The music. The music, the music is or the sold. performance he's seen at the TD show. That's sold. the music. That's the music. No, but I'm saying how you already knew of him before, though, right? Yeah, I knew of him, but I didn't yeah. go to his playlist or his songs and like that. But that's what I'm saying. It's like if you are, you're already aware of him, it'd be different if it's like this is my first time. I'm a follower. Brand awareness is is I think brand awareness hold more value if than the music. But when I did see him, I never seen no weak clip of him. I just never. It just always was an Instagram thing. Like okay. yeah, because he didn't promote nothing. Like your typical promotion will be to take whatever that thing is and. Bank it over their head for six to eight weeks. He coming so much, and he doing that on purpose. So yeah. So how my take is like getting the um putting the face to the music is the um hard part. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Because some niggas will get the big record and it don't be no face to the music. So once you just learn this nigga face and he already know that the music is gonna keep you here, I think it it, it balances out. As opposed to you just being a, a internet nigga and, and the music not resonating. Mm. Like the music is still sticking to niggas. So. Yeah, like, I feel like, I feel like he's achieved his goal in people knowing him, right? And that, like, see, this see, is see, more see. specific Hold on, on let just him land, let him land, King. I feel like, like, the, con the content should match the level of where you're at, you know what I'm saying? Where it's like, yeah, you, we get it, you're posting every day, which, which is to achieve what? Brand identity, but we all know him. He's got 1.1 million followers. He's on, like, he's, ach he's achieved that goal. You know what I'm saying? So it's like my side, like what I think he, he should do, which is, granted, I'm a visitor. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to do next time, nigga. <laughs> I just think he just should focus more on like 
some quality content. Like, I, I feel like this Hit Boy project, him not doing like a real music video to it was just like a miss. It's like you're kind of training your audience to not really soak in on what you're releasing. It's just like, all right, that was tight. What's the next clip going to be? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <coughs> you, you, so you are a fan, though? I'm a fan of his movement, yeah. I like some of his songs, I'm not going to lie. And that's why I feel like... You're more of a fan of his content. I mean, I like, I think, I think I'm like a lot of people where they fuck with him because they respect his hustle and they're a fan of his hustle and what he stands for, which is tight. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's, so if you're not a fan, that's what, that's what I'm saying, though. But so do I, not, I, I, I have to... Fuck the culture. You just seem like you're just a visitor to even him. You're not even like... And where have you invested in him to, to say that he's reached his level, his peak? No, I never said his peak. Well, well, his level. You're saying that at this level, a million followers, <clears throat> that he should be now. He can fall back on the content. You shoot, you shoot videos? I shoot. I make content, yeah. yeah. So you're saying, like, you're looking at it from that standpoint, like, he should be doing better now. Not better, just, just slowing down a bit and thinking it out a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? I think that is kind of, it, it's happening in real time. That's kind of what's dope about what he's doing right now. It's slowing. That's why I was kind of getting at when he said that. He just go make music with whoever. I'm like, I know it's not whoever. I know it's not yeah. the city you go to. I mean, he and just he did Warren G, which is sick. That's a big yeah, W, yeah. you know what that's, I'm saying? Sure. But that's go, all that's going to naturally slow it down because the more he go to New York and he, he trying to really touch these spaces. Mm. So now he ain't going to be able to be in his backyard. That's going to slow down, right? Well, I mean, it just depends on what... That's going to slow down. Plan? Sure. I don't know his plan. Like, I would think, Everything yeah, he's, if he goes on the road, he's not going to be able to perform in the backyard for sure. Yeah, nah, I just I don't know. I just think he like a uh, like a grassroots type of artist, and he's put on with nothing but like fear for emotions. Everybody seeing it, and yeah, you, you, I feel like you took the shot at the wrong person. And what I was gonna say to you, give me because you you don't care about the shot like you was standing on something, right? Yeah, so and I give me two other people, uh, two other like people in this room <clears throat> outside of him because he's doing it. Yeah. You know, that like that, are kind of like sense for what do you mean makes sense for yeah, but who else? Was like who are like making content more than they're actually rapping yeah because yeah, he like stand out to me i mean there's a he bunch of like tiktok that. dudes like that like that there's like a a white kid who sounds like uh what is it i think it's like fucking little baby or something like that he kind of steals his whole flow he's all over tiktok you know he's running the streams up <laughs> i don't know another one off the top of my head you know do you think ddg will uh, fall into that bag yeah, definitely. And is, or, I think I think him being able to break it into rap is like that was the hard part because he was the content creator first, right? And then broke through. But what did he have? He had some hits, right? And I and it, the music carried him into that. You feel what I'm saying? So, it's but like, I feel the rest was a bigger artist than DDG. And I feel he got more. He, he got is a, that perspective? Is that no, like no? I'm I'm positive. Larusso got more of a core audience. I'm 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 guaranteed in DDG do for sure. I would. I mean, do we? Do you guys but no, look at? Do you guys look at streaming numbers? Is that like a way to compare artists? Or nah. how how can we even measure that? Just based um, on clips of people at my concert? No. Or or. I go off of the the how, ticket sales and merch. Yeah, ticket sales and the whole reception he's getting as an artist. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Like, like he brand, they like they brand uh, friendly, and they getting brand dollars and all that. Yeah, you can do that. Some motherfuckers just brand friendly. Nah, DDG, I ain't even gonna, like he doing this thing too though. That I fuck with him on. No, yeah, yeah he's, he's, I, I think he's. I think DDG is more probably. He's more commercial. Yeah, like DDG have friendly. a label behind him. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. He have and a that's whole. That's also what we talked about. He got a whole machine, like, like point for where sure. Like, yeah, he. he's on too. The rest of it is um, independent. So he, that's like a that's DDG an extra hard to, thing to build. Sylvia Rohn signed my nigga. Definitely. At, who, who is Sylvia Rohn with? Atlantic or some shit? Or Epic? All right, so with the artist. She with Epic. She with Epic, I with believe. With the artist like LaRussa, do you think he can become mainstream? Or do you consider him mainstream? Not yet. He's still in his underground bag. But I feel when he do crack that uh, that commercial uh, market, it's going to be over with. What will take, what, what, what's stopping that? It's the process. I mean, you got to. What's he got to get? Yeah, it's a hurry. So hold on, hold on, King. It's a um. He got to get a record, but he not. It's 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 See? when he ready for that. He. Not, I don't think he's shooting for that yet. But to he, get a big I mean, record. I think he's shooting for like. For, shooting what for kind of artist doesn't shoot for a hit record though? A lot of artists. K. Dot when he's writing his music, he's not writing it to be a hit. 
Which, like when K Dot making his home. That's about like going for a top four. Yeah, like when you're trying to write out a commercial well, record. Just, just to break through the grassroots underground movement as what he what he's got right now. You know what I'm saying? Just look at his crop, man. Just put it like this. What he doing? Fresh batch. His crop go grow like that. So just give it a little bit, a couple years. You see the for movie, sure. man. He fucking with the legends. He fucking <clears> with up and coming people. Right? Like, yeah. he spread his seeds all across the board, and at the same time, he independent. The, where he go with that is work ethic. Like, nigga work ethic. Clear. And the music is he good, too. Drop music all day. But, so, well, but, cool, I guess y'all can look forward to me if I do slow down. If you already love me, cool. I probably I can make a better project when I slow down. I don't, I'm but not I'm winning with this formula right here. I don't think he should slow down. I'm definitely not saying slow down. I'm just saying, like, that's I, slowing I, down, though. Nah, I think it, because it's like, I feel like we all know hard workers in this creative space that don't pop off because at the end of the day, their shit's not that tight. You know, yeah. they're not saying La Russell shit's not tight, but it's just like in this creative entertainment industry we're in, you could put, you could work twice as hard as someone who actually got it. Like that hard work doesn't automatically equate to I'm going to be successful in this game.